uh, the bigger firewood of Linus apps came out tonight, so I'm able to film them. Usually they still sit under those clay shards. I don't know, uh, tip to tip. That's close to 12, 12 inches, I would say. Of course, the tail is really long and forked. So it may, may not like may may not not look like it. And he's not near the window. But if he was, I'd say probably 11, 12 inches. Well, when you take him out of the water, they look always bigger. They are bigger. That's that's some amazing growth. Very much like Arapaima. One inch a week, or maybe even more. The smaller one is still under there. You can only see a piece of his tail on the left and the whisker on the right. And they don't feed as much as they did at the beginning, as I said in prior videos. They kind of slow down significantly their feeding. They still take it, take their food, but they don't run out and or lunge at it as they used to. And sometimes they just uh, take a fasting day. I caught them doing that too, also. So that divider, when we got them, that divider was about here. So I moved it another foot over. And now his body length spans half of this... Half of this divider uh, length, divided off section of, of, the, of the tank. So I'm going to have to keep moving it. Or maybe even just... Uh, maybe in an inch or two, just take it out and let and see what happens but the smaller one is a little thinner than the bigger one and almost as long but a little thinner so I'm not sure uh, if it's a good idea yet I'm not comfortable with it yet because those piraiba are bulky and so are the Timensis peacock bass. They're also thick and bulky. The Timensis will probably not go for it, but again, I don't know. That may surprise you. Murray cods. Yeah, that Piraiba is a foot long. Also, it's just bulkier. This is more stick-like, but it's, it's the same length. Unbelievable. I haven't seen him for about five days or six days. They kept inside those, their little cushy layer, layer, whatever you call them. Dimensions are not far off, they probably about ten inches. So everybody in this tank is growing very well. The Piraiba and um, a little less so. And the Murray cods are dead last, but they're also growing and they're eating real well too. Okay, that's pretty amazing. You can see that the fins are relative to the body, especially the 
pectoral fins are not as big anymore they're not keeping up with the growth of the body they're still big and beautiful and just relatively speaking they're not as big as as they were in proportion to the body when they were just a few weeks earlier younger I should say <laughs> when they were a few, weeks young, a few weeks younger than today all right everybody is ready to eat this is their feeding time and they know it say about six seven inches total length tip to tip almost all the piraiba have tattered tails so there, there's a lot of disputes in between them this is Piraiba and Piraiba violence or figuring out the, who's the boss so that I've also noticed I don't know if they're gonna eat even if I drop the food right now they usually take they usually wait until the darkness to come out and take food and even if the food makes under their, under in in their under the uh, cover over there, I don't I haven't seen them lately to grab it as they used to. So they grab it after only after I turn off the lights. They move that rock out so that shard is kind of dropped down. Maybe that's why he's laying outside. Not enough space for inside, but they usually lay side by side, very close to each other, body to body, without any problems. So I don't think it's this is the cause. I don't know if he's gonna take it, but we're gonna try and give. Some dump of some uh, The old guy is sensing it with his whiskers. And the big guy is oblivious for now. But as I said, when I turn off the light. I mean, I, I put cut fish in there and then I turn off the light, I come back in the morning, I see big stomachs. So, not every day, but every other day or sometimes two days in a row and then a day off. Or three days in a row and day off. For some reason, in the light, they don't want to, they don't want to feed. thought long about taking out the divider and combining them decided to just hold on hold it off for another week or two hoping these guys will add another inch or two because the big one is if they both were the size of a big one I think maybe I would have gone for it already but uh, the smaller one is is lagging a little bit behind
So I just put another piece of uh, broken clay pot in there to make, give him a bigger space. It looked like the big one wasn't fitting under there anymore, so he was hanging in the open all the time. Uh, so this combining or taking out the divider will have to wait just a little bit more. All right. So that's our little update on on these guys. When you go in there, I mean, they're, they're flighty fish. When I went in there to redo their little hide, hidey hole, they started freaking out. So he bumped into the divider, just cut up a little bit his snout. They just dart senselessly as far and as far as and quickly and as far as possible. That's how they break their snouts. But so far so good, they haven't broken anything. Once again, this is six inches. Yep. Tip to tip, it's pretty close to 12 inches. But again, like two inches or so, maybe even two and a half is the tail, which is very long and deeply forked.